here's a problem where we're looking at a case where the speed of sound is different depending on what the temperature is outside. Now the formula for this is that the speed of sound is equal to 331 plus 0 0.6 multiplied by whatever the temperature is, T. And we want to find what the temperature is on one of the two days. Now, one thing that's important to note about this problem is that since in both cases the sound is traveling over the same lake and hitting the same cliff, that means that the distance that the sound travels is the same in both cases. Now, the distance that sound travels is equal to the speed at which the wave is traveling multiplied by the amount of time it takes to travel that far. So V times T is going to be the same for both the summer day and the winter day. Or another way to write this is that V1 times T1 is equal to V2 times T2. Now let's try writing this out in a, in a more full way, because the times are both given to us and one of the temperatures is given to us. So that means that for, the, for V1, V1 is equal to 331 plus 0 0.6 times 31 degrees, and that's times 4.80 seconds. So everything in this term here corresponds to the, the summer day. And then for the winter day, and then the, all of this, all of this is also going to be equal to 331 plus 0.6 t, or 0 0.6 times, and I'll call it t2, and that is our unknown. That is what we're trying to find here. Mess this up a little bit. And this is multiplied by the time for the winter day is given to us as 5.20 seconds. So we just need to use this equation to solve for t2. And you'll notice that everything here is known to us except for t2, the variable we're trying to find. So all that's really left for us to do here is break this down, break down this equation, until we have found a formula that will tell us what t2 is. So one way we could do this very easily is just put uh, specific parts of this equation into our calculator until we eventually end up with something really simple. So for example, if we put this part into our calculator, um, then this, then this uh, is calculated to be about 1 point, or 1,678.08. And this is equal to all this stuff on the right here. Now let's divide both sides of the equation by this 5.20 here. Now we're, we're getting things simpler here. Now we have this 331 plus 0 0.6 T2. So we can subtract both sides of the equation by this 331. And lastly, to get T2 completely on its own, we'll just divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.6. And we find that T2 has a temperature of about negative 13.82 degrees Celsius. And some people might want to round this to just negative 14 degrees Celsius. But for now, we'll just leave it like this. Yeah, so that's how we could do that problem. Uh, I know that last part of the solution was a little bit messy, but really you could use any method you want to solve this whole equation now that, you will, now that there's only one unknown variable there. So if you want, you could just put that into any other type of equation solving calculator or leave it symbolically and try to find a big uh, formula for T2 at the end there, whatever way you think would work best for you. But that's all for now. That's all for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as it'll help me make more videos like this. Uh, but if you have a question, something you didn't understand, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. And if you have a request for a future video or you just wanna hang out, I have a Discord server and a Twitch page that are both linked in the description down below. So feel free to check out that if you want. But that's all for now. And I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye-bye.